Hello. In this video tutorial I'm going to demonstrate to you how to load 3D objects into your catalogue. Um, this is achieved using the 3D converter. It's only available in the Visual Building Professional, Premium and Solar Designer. It's not available in the Visual Building Basic version. So, click on 3D Converter, which you'll find in the plugin toolbar. This activates this toolbar here, and we can use this button to browse for our, for our 3D objects. And I can actually use a filter to look for various kinds of objects. Um, at the moment I'm looking for any 3D object, but you can load WRL, 3DS, CYG, .cob. Most 3D object formats are loadable. I'm going to load a 3DS object here. And a well. So select it, it loads instantly. Let's make this window bigger. Now, some features about this particular object. It's um, quite big. It's uh, 134 meters high, 200 meters wide. So this is obviously a scaling factor situation. So I can actually change the scale factor. right click and show all. In fact it's still too big. It's um, make it one percent. Right click, show all. There's my object. Now you can see the object tree and its sub objects and you'll notice that each object has got each object uh, subcomponent has got the material um, it looks like there's at least three materials in here which if I double click I can actually change or replace the texture for that particular material with my own which I'm going to do. Um, I should go to my textures and let's put a wood texture on the roof and we just select our texture, drag it onto the surface and all of that material free has now been changed to that particular texture and I can do the same for the um, brickwork of the well let's load a suitable texture um, we don't want wood, let's go into use plaster Stick. Yeah, that'll do. So we just take this, oh, let's have this one, drag it onto my well. And the same for the third material, um, which is the pulley system here. So we just drag that onto there. So, other things you can do with this object is actually um, add a, a hyperlink, uh, the product name, URL, uh, manufacturer details, and that then is embedded with the object when you save it. Um, we can actually examine this object in different um, image modes. That's um, that 
button and use the same feature as just double clicking over here. We can do a ray trace. We can actually add um, uh, a light. So if you want to uh, create a, a lamp stand or any light source, then that's how you add the light detail. Calculate normals for more realistic rendering. So what we're going to do now is save our object and we're going to save it in our catalog. Um, let's save it in objects, miscellaneous, and we're going to call it for well. And we're going to save it as a CYG form. Um, that is the file format which uh, Visual Building uh, best understands. So we OK that. Object was saved. So you have to remember where we saved that. Um, objects, miscellaneous, and there's our well there. Now one of the other things we can do is actually omit portions of the object. So for instance, if we don't want the roof, we select that, click it off, select that, click it off. And we can save this object now. Um, Save this in also in the catalogue uh, objects miscellaneous. I will call this well number two. Refresh our catalogue, and there's well number two. Obviously, we didn't attach this particular copy, and there's our. original well. So using this technique you can actually create um, or extend your uh, catalog by any 3DS object or any um, object you can locate on the, the internet.